Welcome back. From the crime beat on Sunday, officers from Operation Blitz, that's the Royal Bahamas Police Force, Defense Force, and Immigration Officers, seized a firearm and arrested a 26-year-old man at a residence off Camp Road. Officers executed a search warrant at a home on Sutton Street after 8 p.m., and during that search, a firearm containing ammunition was discovered, leading to the arrest of the sole occupant of that home. Investigations into that matter are ongoing. Also on Sunday, an armed robbery occurred at a business establishment in the vicinity of, in the vicinity rather of East and Young Street, just two blocks north of Wolf Road. Preliminary reports indicate that after 3 p.m., four masked males entered the premises and confronted the employees. One of the culprits brandished a firearm and they stole a large sum of cash from the business before fleeing the scene in a western direction. Anyone with uh, information, additional information that can help the police in their investigation, you are asked to call the police at 911-919 or you can remain anonymous by calling Crime Stoppers at 328-TIPS. 8477. To take out a mortgage or build a home out of pocket is a question a lot of Bahamians face when thinking about their future living accommodations. Well, Maria Nemore Jones, a resident of Grand Bahama, trusted the bank with a mortgage for her one story home in Freeport, only to now have the bank list that home for sale without notice, she says. Ms. Nemore Jones explains her ordeal as she fights back. I have asked over and over for Royal Bank Finco to give me my satisfaction of mortgage and my original papers and conveyance for my home because the mortgage was paid off after the death of my husband. I was caught up in that clinical fiasco. However, the insurance company paid most of it and the government of the Bahamas, the Treasury, bail out Clico and they paid the balance. I have copies of checks. I have copies of every single check that was written to this institution to pay off my mortgage. But they decided that they will post my home for sale on Monday without me knowing, just post it on their site. How I know was because an agent called me and asked me if I am aware. The agent said to me, persons had already expressed interest and was about to make down payments on my home. Ms. Nemo Jones says she has been fighting this battle for a long time now, and she's been doing that on her own and wants to expose how ruthless, she says, some banks can be and that Bahamians need to have protection from these types of practices. My husband passed away in 2011. And from 2012, February of 2012, I have been fighting this battle with the, this institution. But Tanya, I don't know if I have grieved my husband properly, I can say that because from then to now, I have been in this battle. Just me. I, from 2014 to now, I have been fighting this battle on my own. No attorneys representing myself before everyone. Okay. My husband worked at Royal Bank. He was an employee there. I would like the powers that be to look at the way a people their mortgages are handled in the bank, okay? Um, I know that I'm not the only person that is being treated this way. Overall, Ms. Nemo Jones noted that she not only wants to have justice for herself by keeping her home, she also wants to help others who are in similar predicaments with financial institutions. And finally, the Bahamas Telecommunications Company launched a new initiative for the elderly on Thursday at its small and marathon location called the Silver Blue Connection. The initiative seeks to revolutionize the way the elderly in our community interact with technology and their cellular devices. Director of People for BTC, Darren Turnquist, shared his excitement for this new initiative. When we think about our retirees and we think about the elderly in our community, we think about those in the family islands these are our most valuable players. Why is that? It's because you have been with us for years. And no matter what has happened or what has gone down, even when the competition comes, you have stuck with us through and through. Give yourself a round of applause. When I saw our head of CX, the wonderful Tennille Simmons, do one thing. For no, a number of years, as I sit down, I listen to people say, man, listen, turn quest. These numbers on these phones are too small for me. And so promise made, promise what? Deliver. Now you've got bigger numbers on the phone. Let's give our team a round of applause. I want to say that what makes this very special is that sometimes you have to call your loved ones.
ones or your children to help you or to give you some support. We say you ain't got to knock them no more because you have a, hey, glory, you have a special number to call. Promise made, promise delivered. Tenille Simmons, BTC's customer service leader, shared some of the fundamentals of the new venture and benefits of the new features that will be implemented. It's really and truly a pleasure to be here today as we talk about our program, Silver Blue. It's really a, a commitment that I say is for BTC when we're talking about servicing all generations. Today we're proud to announce Silver Blue program, which is really a comprehensive initiative designed specifically to meet the needs of our most valuable person. That's you, sitting here today. Our program is centered around making technology more accessible, affordable, dedicated, and also supportive. I'm going to talk about a little bit of the features of Silver Blue. So while you see a lot of the team members around here today, we're going to get into some of the devices, we're going to talk about the offers, but the entire program, I want you to learn what that is, what we've designed for you. First, we'll start with the custom senior mobile plan device and its offer. We understand there's different needs for this community right here today. And so the plan that we have is affordable, is simplified, and it includes what I like to say a specific handset that we got the feedback directly from you, right? So when you hear about the handset, you know it's not typically something that we would carry in our range, but what we wanted to do was ensure that we had something that we met the demands of your needs. BTC executives are encouraging the elderly in our community to take advantage of their new services, especially the new call center, which can help to resolve issues you may experience with your devices or even with the network. That'll do it for your JCN Evening News. Once again, I'm Jorino Saunders. Thank you so much for joining us. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited.